Hey guys, George here from Pack Instinct. Hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, I've got another question here that I want to get into with you guys, and this is regarding separation anxiety, um, or in this case, a little bit of separation anxiety, but I can talk about this, and then it'll lead me on to the bigger subject of separation anxiety, which is going to help more people out, okay? So I'm going to jump into the question, I'm going to answer the question, and then we're going to talk a little bit. Hi George, I would like to ask about separation anxiety. Rocky can sometimes be fine being left in his crate when I go out and other times he will wake Vince up. He works nights howling and trying to get out of the crate. Also, if he is left completely alone, I can normally tell if he has been anxious as his blankets will be pushed all the way back to the back of the crate and he will be panting. Put him in the crate, you can get a Kong toy and you can fill that up with either his food, you can fill that up with treats, you can freeze it, you can freeze food in there so it even takes longer for him to kind of get it out. So that will give Rocky something to do when you're out during the day because of course dogs have that internal clock where they want to be active during the day. So give him something to do. If the dog starts to get into an anxious state and the cycle starts, I'm gonna correct that to stop that, to make the dog feel better. So what's that gonna be like? That's gonna be me going into the room, walking up to the crate, saying no, and tapping the top of the crate, giving the crate like a bit of a bang on the top. It startles the dog, but it stops the craziness, okay? And it just, it just puts the brakes on and it just brings everything back down, okay? And this is gonna to have to be repeated, okay? And there's a couple of different ways that you can achieve the same thing. That's what Vince is gonna to have to do if he wants to stop the anxious cycle. What's separation anxiety? Separation anxiety is where a dog isn't comfortable being left alone by himself without being with somebody or without being with the other dog. And it can range from not very severe to extremely severe. Not very severe is like a little bit of whining and maybe a bit of panting, moving the blankets around like Rocky's doing in, in, in this question here. Uh, very severe is really trying to break out of the house. The dog's doing damage to himself, ingesting objects. And usually it's because the dog's been given too much freedom and it hasn't practiced being by himself. So following you around all the time. And this is why I crate train dogs is to get rid of separation anxiety. The dog has to be doing some duration work where he's just in his own place. It can be on his bed, it can be in a crate, it can be wherever, but it's gotta be separate from you so that you can just get on and the dog doesn't have the option to get up and follow you around. It really does wonders for the state of mind. It's like a like a doggy meditation when when this is done correctly, okay? And you should do it in the crate and you should do it on the bed and you should do it at different times. But pretty much it's teaching the dog to be calm, relaxed when he's just by himself and, and he can't be with you. They can't be with you all the time, okay? Even if you think it's not a big deal and your dog's got separation anxiety, you're gonna have to leave them at times, okay? And that's gonna all come down to how much you've practiced that and what your priorities are. So hopefully that was a good enough answer for you. But there you go, all right, talk to you soon.